So in this video, I'm going to go into more detail about the types of compound leaves, and the terms from the book that we're going to cover are pinnate and palmate. So as a quick review, we have a simple leaf on this side, and we have a compound leaf on the right. They're going to have the same parts because their anatomy is the same. A leaf is a leaf. So we have these four parts that I want to review. You have the blade, which is the flat green part, usually the flat part that the tree uses to collect light. In, the, in this case, it's very easy. In a simple leaf, it's not divided. It's just a single piece. Then it's connected to the stem with a petiole. And at the base of that petiole, you'll find a bud. And this, um, where that petiole connects to the stem, we call that the node. So the node is more like an area. That's right there. So the difference with a compound leaf is that the blade has become divided. It's not a single piece. And if you imagine this being a simple leaf at some point in the past, this would have been the blade. But now this blade is basically all of these little leaflets in here. So individually, these are called leaflets. You still have the petiole, you still have the bud, and you still have this area here, which is called the node. So if you're trying to tell the difference between a compound leaf and a simple leaf, make sure you're looking for that bud that's going to be at the node. This compound leaf that we were just looking at, this is what's called a pinnately compound leaf. And pinnate refers to the attachment of these leaflets at multiple points along the stalk. You can also have, you can break this down further by the number of leaflets you have. So if you, in this case, you have an odd number of leaflets because these are pairs and you have one extra one here. So this is an odd pinnate. But if you didn't have this, then you would call that an even pinnate. So that just refers to the number of leaflets you have. Um, this is actually very helpful. So if you haven't seen a Chinese pistache before and you look at the leaves, you can see that it's actually missing this terminal leaflet and that helps you separate it from something that might look similar, maybe an ash tree. So. You also have palmately compound leaves, which differ from the pinnate, pinnately compound leaves because all the leaflets are attached to the same point in the stem. Um, horse chestnuts or buckeyes are an example of this. You also have a similar version where you have three leaflets specifically, and they are all attached to the same point. An example of this would be African sumac, um, box elder, paper bark maple, and poison oak, um, some of the other poison plants. So I just have one more thing to explain, which I think will be helpful from a tree ID perspective, though it's not actually on the exam. So pinnately compound leaf has replaced the original blade with multiple leaflets. But these individual leaflets can become further subdivided into more, into another level. So if you can imagine, this used to be a leaflet, but now it's become these separate, further dissected leaflets. And this is called a bi bipinnately compound leaf. So an example of this would be a jacaranda. Um, there's also a, one of the Chinese rain trees, which has in its name Coruteria bipinnata. You can also tell from name sometimes. So that also has a bipinnately compound leaf. And yes, there are additional levels. If you've enough experience, you'll be able to tell if a tree has compound leaves just from seeing it from afar. Um, and when in doubt, go ahead and look at multiple leaves, see if you can find that bud, and in some cases, you might have to look a lot closer because some buds can fall off.